Welcome back. Today we are going to uh, look at how we adjust our, we test our tension. So I'm getting ready to start a new project and I've got a similar fabric and I've got the identical batting. This is a polyester batting and <clears throat> I have my machine threaded up. I'm going to start by just dropping my needle, pulling up my bobbin thread and then putting my needle back down because that's exactly how I would start quilting. And my objective is that I want to make enough pattern to test my tension and also to look at all of the different kinds of movements that I might be making. <clears throat> and even if I think I'm only going to be making a particular kind of uh, pattern, I like to test for everything so that if I change my mind and I want to do something different, that I have that option. So I always start and I make some vertical lines. So away from me, back toward me. I do that a couple times. And just out of curiosity, I'm going to peek, and, and it looks pretty good, at least straight lines. And our machine is used to going that way. <clears throat> it doesn't like to go horizontally as much. So how does that look when I go left and then right? and it still looks good. Don't worry, I'll flip this over so you can see it too. Now I'm going to do two circles. <clears throat> and then, because I, I think curves and points are often a place where my tension uh, is not great, I always do some echoing of my circles so that I have nice points and I don't know if you can see it but right here I've got a little pull where my bobbin thread is uh, pulling up so that means that my there's too much tension on my top thread compared to the bobbin thread so <clears throat> I can tell that without even even flipping things over but just so you can see, let's look at the back. So on the back, the tension looks pretty decent. I've got a nice delineation of stitch. <clears throat> and that little pull right there is a problem for me. So I'm going to try and untangle myself here. There we go. <clears throat> and I'm just going to start where I'm, where I stopped. <clears throat> Alright, but I haven't changed my tension, so I'm going to on my machine, I'm going to change my tension disc and make the number smaller that's going to reduce the tension on my top thread. And I'm going to come back here and do the same movement again. A little... And that looks much, much better. But you know, while I'm doing this, I'm also going to do two more circles. Circles are really key because you're going in every direction. And that will show you where 
you have uh, tension issues. And I always want to push my, my thread away from the machine because the thread is going through the needle and behind, so that's going to put the least amount of stress on the needle. <clears throat> and that looks, that looks much nicer. So now I don't hear, I could have managed this <clears throat> tension, but I would have had to pause at all of those little points. And here my points are nice and crisp. They're exactly where I need them to be. So I don't have anything to be concerned with. And that is how <clears throat> I test my tension <clears throat> to make sure that I have everything nice and tidy uh, before I begin quilting. And again, <clears throat> I'm using a similar fabric. I maybe don't have the exact same fabric, but uh, the same kind of weight. <clears throat> and I'm definitely going to use the same batting. And if I've got stabilizer in my quilt sandwich, I want to have that in my test piece as well. Happy quilting!